The enemy held Wrigley Air Base is located in close proximity to our front lines, making it the proverbial knife at our throat. A large illusion bomber contingent was deployed to Wrigley. Their intentions are clear. A full-scale strike on our forces at North Point is imminent. Your mission is to catch these bombers on the ground and destroy them. We intend to turn the parking ramp at Wrigley into a junkyard. Our bombers are decimated. 
decimated. Repeat, all our bombers are destroyed. Sky Eye, this is Fighter Squadron. Mission complete. We're coming home. The attack was a success. A significant number of enemy bombers were eliminated, and a full-scale airstrike on North Point was averted. One night, a spirited group made their way into the bar, chased out the sullen army grunts, and commandeered the place. Even I knew who they were. The patch on their sleeve was the mark of the proud Air Force. A loud-mouthed, middle-aged man went around, announcing each pilot's results for the day and his running kill record. For those who exceeded five kills, a thorough toasting and soaking followed. I believe it was their custom to call a pilot an ace once he shot down five planes. After completing the day's review, the same guy, the squadron agent, went on to announce, and now, for our leader's results. Everyone turned around to look at the quiet man who sat alone, strumming a guitar. I found myself drawn to the music from his guitar. Our yellow 13 bagged three more today, bringing his new tally up to 64 kills. With a tentative smile, the man with the guitar turned to me and asked me to accompany him on my harmonica. I brought it up to my lips and I started a new song. I had finally found him. But by some fluke, it was my father's favorite song. The one he used to play at the end of each day.